Hello BookTube! I thought I'd come to you today again with a small selection of books whose release dates put them in bookstores uh, today or soon rather than in the autumn of the winter, as is sometimes my case. Uh, and these are books I wholeheartedly recommend uh, if you see them. Uh, the first one is science fiction, uh, fantasy, it's urban fantasy, it's stiletto. Uh, by Daniel O'Malley. This is book two in his Rook series about a secret society in London that fights supernatural threats. Uh, and the thing that always strikes me about these books is that they're very well done, especially the dialogue. Uh, but the thing that always strikes me about them is the author bio, which is uh, one for the ages. Uh, Daniel O'Malley graduated from Michigan State University and earned a master's degree in medieval history from Ohio State University. He then returned to his childhood home, Australia, where he works for the Transport Safety Bureau writing press releases for government investigations of plane crashes and runaway boats. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, the next one is uh, Zora O'Neill's book. All Strangers Are Kin. This is absolutely wonderful travel writing about an uh, uh, Arabic language linguist who decides to pack up her dictionary and go traveling in the United Arab Emirates and in Morocco and all over the Middle East and meet the people who actually use the language and hear what the language is actually used for. Just wonderful. Eye-opening and wonderful. Uh, can't recommend it high enough. Uh, our next one is a novel, The Sons and Daughters of Ease and Plenty by Ramona Ossibel. This is, let me read you the, uh, the description here. Uh, Labor Day, 1976, Martha's Vineyard. Uh, summering at the family beach house along this muddy New England coast. I, uh, I won't tell the blurb writer if you don't that Martha's Vineyard is not a muddy New England coast. <laughs> uh, Fern and Edgar, married with three children, are happily preparing for a birthday celebration when they learn the unimaginable has occurred. There is no more money. More specifically, there's no more money in the estate that has been the source of Fern and Edgar's comfortable life, despite their avowed anti-money ideals. Quickly, the once-charmed family unravels. In distress and confusion, Fern and Edgar are each tempted away on separate adventures, leaving the three children for days with no guardian whatsoever, in an improvised Neverland helmed by the tender, witty, and resourceful Cricket, aged nine. Uh, I... I thought the novel had some problems, but it stuck with me since I read it, especially the uh, the portions of the children. The the, the uh, parents are abominable. <laughs> They'll make your blood boil. <laughs> uh, and then we've got two big, since this is my channel, we've got, we've, next we've got two big works of biography and history uh, for you if you're a history and biography buff and for you know a recipient on your list who might be if you are not. Uh, first one, I only have it so far in this this thing, this uh, ARC. It's uh, Arthur Herman's gigantic new biography of Douglas MacArthur, and uh, it's fantastic. It's further proof in my mind that 2016 is going to be a really, end, end up being a really, really banner year for biographies. I've read t t two dozen that were outstanding, and this is one of them. Uh, for World War II fans, for anybody who read maybe Manchester's book, American Caesar, and wants a slightly different approach. Uh, it's part of, um, you know, four or five recent books on, MacArthur, on MacArthur attempting to reassess his reputation, his place in history, that sort of thing. Another one is something we've seen on this channel before. It's uh, James Kloppenberg's Toward Democracy, which comes out on, uh, in the middle of the month and is incredible. Just amazing. Uh, also a chunker, <laughs> but but a, an amazing doorstop of a work, just to, not only wonderfully researched, but beautifully written. So if you have a, a serious history fan, and you're one, you know, you go into a bookstore and you're looking at the new history of stuff and you're saying, I have no idea. <laughs> Take it from me as my recommendation, they will love this. Uh, and the last book, which really can't be beat in any week, <laughs> Is, is the new Meg book. <laughs> this is Night Stalkers, which features the uh, the killer offspring of the original star of the show. <laughs> and these things have they've they've bred and multiplied there all throughout the oceans, and they're it's a it's just the ultimate summer fun book. <laughs> so of course I highly recommend it. <laughs> Well, the only the only sad part about it is that the, even a hack like this author can't possibly provide me with a Meg book next week. 
that's we'll have to do without. <laughs> and there you have it. That's a, just a slight a, a slight look at the books that came out last week uh, that might be worth your your attention. Uh, and I'll be back to talk to you very soon. Thank you, Booktube.